to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I am back. And to kick this off, I'm going to show you guys my full coverage or medium to full coverage everyday foundation routine with products that I have been loving, super happy with. They are long wearing and just make my skin look really good. If you follow me over on Instagram, you see me wearing this and I've gotten a few requests to do this. So let's jump in. So I am starting off with a freshly clean face. My skin is moisturized. I also am wearing sunscreen, but all of that, I did my skincare routine about an hour ago. So now we are ready to go. If you just do your skincare routine, kind of let that product sit in for like a good five minutes before moving on to primer. For primer, I'm going to be using my Milk Makeup Mattifying Primer. It's really nice because it's mattifying but not drying but also smooths out your skin and your pores. So I'm just going to take this on my hands and I like to just press this into my skin but I focus it here in my t-zone because that's where I tend to get more oily. Okay, and then the star of the show, the foundation that I'm going to be using is definitely one of my favorites. I love the way this foundation looks. This is by House Labs. This is Lady Gaga's makeup line, Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, and I am in the shade 175 Light Neutral. Love that it comes with a pump. I just take one pump on my finger right here, and then I will just dot it like this on my skin. Make sure you are bringing the foundation down your neck. But the key to applying foundation is pressing it into your skin like this. You really don't need to be doing like hard buffing motions or anything because that's just going to be like moving the product around on your skin. And then right here along my jawline, I need a tiny bit more coverage. So I'm going to take a little bit of this foundation and I'm just going to pat this foundation in. Okay, now we're moving on to concealer. For concealer, I have been really loving the Faux Filter Concealer from Huda Beauty. And this is in the shade Coconut Flakes. I just put this here in my inner corner, my outer corner. I also like to bring my concealer onto my eyelid too. This is going to help cover like any discoloration. But I'm really just going to be pressing that in for maximum coverage. No swiping or anything. Okay, so my foundation is on, concealer is on, so we're going to stick with the cream liquid products, and I'm going to go into cream bronzer. One of my favorite cream bronzers that I've been using here recently is the Soul Body by ColourPop, and this is in the shade Medium. You can actually use this on your face and your body. This is what it looks like. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. It's duo ended with this side and then this shorter side, which is really good for concealer or contouring the side of your nose. So I'm just going to be bronzing my skin because everything is like flat, one dimensional, evened out from the foundation and concealer. So this is just going to add color back to our face. I like to focus my bronzer from the top of my ear right here i don't go too low with it everything that i put on is pretty much to give my face a little lift make me look nice in a way kind of like i've been sun kissed and not stuck in this cold midwest weather and so then i'm going to press this bronzer back into my hairline again i'm not like swiping it i'm like patting and pressing. So get the side of my temples. Pretty much you're gonna put it anywhere where the sun would naturally hit. And I don't bring it all the way in right here. I like to keep this area nice and bright. I pretty much bring it like towards the pupil of my eye. So right, right here going back. And then this area I'm gonna save for blush. I love doing all my cream products first and then I will set everything with powder. So now I'm gonna be going in my e.l.f. Putty Blush, this is in the shade Bora Bora. And again, I'm just using the same brush from e.l.f. Picking up a little bit of this. This is very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. And then for this, I'm going to be focusing it on the tops of my cheekbones going up. Patting it very gently into the skin. I'm a blush girl, so that's why I add quite a bit of blush. I also like to add a little bit of blush on the bridge of my nose. I just feel like it kind of gives like that sun-kissed You've been out in the sun, got a little sunburnt, looking a little cute. I'll just take whatever's left on my chin like that. I'll even honestly put some like on my forehead a little bit just to get whatever's on this brush off of it. All of our creams are on. Foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush. Now we're going to lock everything in place with powder. 
This is really gonna make everything last. Lock it all in. Before we set everything with powder, you can either use like a loose setting powder, compact powder, really whatever you have or whatever you like. I personally like to do loose setting powder. Honestly, it just depends what mood I'm in for the day. But before I set my concealer, you want to blend it out because as it sits on your skin, it's totally natural for it to like crease a little bit. You can see my lids are creasing. It's a tiny bit creasing underneath here. If we were to go in right now with setting powder, we'd essentially be setting the creases. So I'm just gonna go back in with my beauty sponge and just pat out the creasing. Again, no swiping. And then you're gonna take your powder. I personally like to use a powder puff and I'm going to look up and immediately set that under eye area. I also like to go along the sides of my nose right here because again, I have like normal to oily skin. Now I'm gonna take whatever's left here in the cap. By the way, for this, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade Fair Light. I'm gonna be taking this on my powder puff and pressing it into my T-zone because this is going to lock the foundation into place, making sure my makeup lasts all day long. We have our concealer set. I also set this area right here. Now we're gonna be going on to blush and bronzer. I love the hourglass bronzer. It's definitely a splurge, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. Another really great one is uh, ColourPop. They have matte bronzers. Sephora ever has a sale. This is definitely one of the products I highly recommend getting. I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna be just setting my cream bronzer wherever I put it. So with this, you don't wanna disrupt the creams that we put on, so you're really just going to be lightly patting. I also will take the small edge of this brush from my e.l.f. brush with a little bit of bronzer and just run it across my lid like this. This is a really simple way just to add some dimension back, do some eyeshadow without actually doing some eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using my IT Cosmetics blush brush along with one of my favorite blushes. This is by Milani, and this is in the shade Luminoso. I absolutely love this blush. I have gone through many of these. So again, we're just gonna take this, very pigmented so a little bit goes a long way, and I'm just going to be pressing this exactly where I placed my cream blush. And I do this makeup when I want my makeup to last me all day long. These are just extra steps that you can take to really secure your makeup look. If you don't wanna do touch-ups, if you want that color to last, try doing it this way. This is how the makeup is looking. We're all matte, we're set. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. For brows, I use my favorite brow products from NYX. I'm gonna use the NYX Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette, the brow glue also from NYX. Um, before I do that, I'm going to put a setting spray on this because we did a lot of powder on top. So we did like the blush, the bronzer, all of that. So if it's feeling powdery, Go ahead and use a little setting spray. I'm using the Sephora one. Not only is this going to lock in all of the makeup, but it's also going to help the powders not look so powdery, make the skin look like just as one very natural. If you do it this way, I'm telling you, your makeup will not budge at all. Okay, and this is what the finished look looks like. All I did was my brows, a few coats of mascara, and then put on some lipstick. For lipstick, I'm wearing the e.l.f. Satin Lipstick in the shade Dirty Talk. I have been loving these. Let me know what you guys think about this makeup look in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any more, and I'll see you in my video next week. Bye.